No sign of five-year-old Summer Wells in 90 days. Massive searches for the Hawkins County girl mirror searches for other children who went missing in Tennessee. News Channel 5's Hannah McDonald is taking an in-depth look at some cases that remain open years later. It's almost been 10 years since Nico Lisi disappeared. His mother knows how the family of Summer Wells feels three months after her disappearance. I was a wreck. It was torture. During the initial search for Monica Button's son, she went through a lot. I was accused of hiding my son, um, that I knew where he was. I must have been sending him money. Being the parent of a missing child is her cross to bear, but she knows strangers are suffering too. Do you pay attention to stories about other missing children? Absolutely. It's like when you buy a white car, you never notice white cars on the road until you own one. The Summer Wells case caught her attention. I don't know what happened to that little girl, but I know being a mother and not knowing where your child is is torture. The five-year-old Hawkins County girl is one of 16 missing children listed on the TBI's website. Bethany Markowski is on the website, too. It's hard as a parent to kind of let go and trust that other people, law enforcement and social media and things like that, that they're going to do the right things and they're going to continue to work. Johnny Carter's daughter vanished 20 years ago. Bethany is one of 13 missing kids in Tennessee who've reached 18. In her honor, Carter created Tennessee Missing Children's Day. Don't let them forget who you are and don't let them forget who your child is. Nico's mom agrees. Families have to advocate for their missing loved ones. They have to, because if you don't, they get lost. Hannah McDonald, News Channel 5.